Kia ora whanau. Just thought I'd uh, um, just introduce myself. I'm John and uh, what I wanted to do is just show you how to bind a tuki or how I bind a tuki. Okay, so this is uh, part two of our educational, a little educational vid, fun vid, fun fact vid thing. But anyway, let's let's give this a go. I'll stop talking. Here we go. So I'm going to try and thread, that, thread this cord into there. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky. Oh, oh yeah, sweet. Through. Yeah, cool. Okay. And the first thing I want to do is I want to do the adjustable cords at the back. So what I'll do, how I'd start that off is I'll do a loop like that. Just fold it over three or four centimetres. Three or four centimetres like that. I'll thread this loose cord through there like that. But that's what I'll be holding with my finger and thumb. Pull through cord directly on top of that. Like that. So it's almost as if the two fishes kissing between your finger and thumb there. And the third cord in itself directly on top. So I've got one, two, three, and my finger and thumb is holding that. And so now with this cord in itself, I'm going to start coiling. So I'm going to go one rotation and then number two three four you can see how it's quite lineal very close together I'm not doing this super tight but I'm just trying to get it so that's nice and lineal and, and now for the next stage I'm going to go directly on top of that last one and I'm going to do the same coiling back to my fingers finger and thumb four five six seven okay cool so i'm just gonna pierce it through i have the needle there thread it through and hold that bit there and i'm going to pull these legs a little bit and that cord's going to go directly right through the center right through the other end where well, he's hoping use a bit of car yep, there you go sweet cool and i pull this a little bit tight here because all i want to see that tighten up there and that's where the that's where the knot is right there it's going to help keep it together now tidy it up a little bit one cut there one cut there you can see two or three mils protruding out there and of course okay sweet so now hopefully that cord will run freely Backwards and forwards, that knot will run freely. Backwards and forwards like that. Okay. So my, my method of measuring the circumference here is a little bit unconventional, but I'm going to show you. Go around the head. Assuming I've got the average size, size head, but, I, you know, I've been proven wrong. So about there. Yeah, I'd go about there. So about a little bit more space. Yeah, it's not an approximate science, but I'll do. So this cord here, I want that to be running onto this cord here. Okay, so it has the same function as to what's happening there. And that's hence the adjustable cord in itself. Okay, so cool. Folded it over. Got those two fish heads again. Directly on top like that. Third one, of course, is the cord that I'm going to use to coil the whole thing. To coil the knot. So a little bit of distance in between the finger and thumb and the in the string there. And I'm going to start coiling again. One, two, three, four. Yep. Now I just went right to that T intersection there. I don't want to make it super super tight, so that's okay there. Now I'm going to go directly on top of that last one I've just done. So it's like a double decker. Three. Four, and I'm going to work towards my finger and thumb again. Okay. And now, once again, I have the needle. Pull it out, pull it through. And now I just want to tighten that because, once again, it's the knot. The knot is right there. Just always be mindful of that's the knot. They do come undone, so you want to be a little bit, you know, use a little bit of force there. Okay. 
and a little bit of a toddy up here. Now I used to burn these these bits here, but what I find is that the the bit of plastic that mounts at the end of this um, rubs on the back of the neck. It's a little bit irritating, so I've decided not to burn that part. Now I just burn this part here, you know. Okay, so now this kind of informs where they sit at the back of the neck, and I don't want them to be imbalanced like that. I kind of want to keep them about the same same around the back of the neck there. So that's how I start that. Okay. Now the back of the ponamu there, the back of the tuki, this is where I work um, to do this digital lashing. First of all, I've got to do one last knot on here, and then we bring it all together. So the pull through cord comes up between my finger and thumb, and that one there directly on top. And I repeat the very same process as to what I did with the adjustable knots, but just doing that with the ponamu right there below. One, two, three. Yeah, I should stop counting. Five. Okay. Directly on top. And last one. Yeah, cool. And now that in itself, quite a, it's a lot longer that quarters though, this quarter here, because I'm going to use it for lashing itself. Come through. Okay, and now I just want to tighten that up. So, yep, cool. Now this cord here, it's at the, running at the front of it. What I want to do is I want to push that knot right around so it sits at the back. Okay, it's better. For me, that's better. And I'll make sure that this cord sits at the back too. Okay, so it's all sitting at the back. Yep. Cut it there. Just a bit of tidy up. Okay, now it's a pretty, a pretty easy trick to this, all you've got to do is go down, around, up and down. Okay, the pull through cord comes down like this, so what was I saying before, down, around once, up once, and then back down again. And repeat that process, around, up, and down, around, up, just keep pushing that in, keep pushing that in. Up and back down again. Around, up, down, around, up, around. Okay. So I'm just going in between a notch there and I either side and I'm counting to go, okay, there's three there, there's two there, so now there's three there, that's good. And I'm thinking, hmm, do I need to put another one there? I could extend that a little bit more. I can go four on either side, I think. So around, I can go up, go back down again, around, up, in between the notch. Yep. And now, there you go. So I've got four on either side on the front facet. And now, just looking at the ponamu itself, I'm thinking I might just go around a few times. You know, and this varies for, you know, people's aesthetic choice and their taste, but I'd just like to see a little bit of coiling. Okay, there you go. And now to finish it off, I'm going to hold my thumb here and just put this cord into the eye of the needle. And I'm just going to, I'm just holding this so it doesn't pull all the way up. And then I'm just going to readjust it a little tiny bit like that. At the end. Cut there and then burn. And that's how I bind a tuki. The end. <laughs>